Hello, my fellow Americans. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as the greatest nation on Earth, of course, America. But last time, we took out the Haitians, because the Haitians, well, they were being a little bit of a menace. And right now, we are trying to make more armies, prepare for an eventual war against a few guys down this way. We kind of have good relations with them, but uh, that isn't going to last forever. We need idealism and state and government. We're already getting idealism, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And then we're going to immediately go down political thought to get state and government and cause a ruckus in Mexico. So, I asked you guys yesterday, what direction are we going to take? Are we going to go to South America? Are we going to go to Africa? Are we going to go to Asia? I'm not going to go to Europe because I don't care about European affairs right now. So, overall, the consensus was, we should probably stay in the Americas. Don't really do too much in Africa. Maybe get a couple colonies around what might eventually become Liberia. Oh. Um, but mostly leave Africa alone. Leave Asia alone for the most part. I might take a few things here from the Qing or Qing Empire. Maybe take Vietnam just to prove that America can beat the Vietnamese, whatever. And, uh, yeah. But mostly, we're going to send ourselves in the Americas. And we can either take land. For example, I'm going to straight up just take Panama later on from Colombia. But I could puppet. Now, I could annex, like, various portions of South America, like Ecuador or something. But I'm thinking... How about we just puppet them? Odds are they won't become great powers, or which will be great because I hate it when puppets become great powers. But we could puppet them and put them directly under our area of influence. Now, I will sphere the Empire of Brazil because it's probably the most powerful South American nation. I say that as they are getting taken over a little bit by Paraguay. Oh well. And before we start, let's make sure we have good relations with... Oh, we've got good relations with you. Uh, I Are we allied with you? I think we are allied with them. Yeah, we are allied with the Prussians. Okay, that's cool. Fine with me, increase relations with these guys. I'll increase relations with the Mexicans later on. But someone left in the comments below yesterday that the way to do this against Mexico is you want to have high relations, but you want to have, eventually, a lot of money. Like, at least $100,000, or I guess pounds in Victoria, too. Oh, are you no longer a... Oh, well, you're still a presidential dictatorship. You're no longer an empire. Oh, I see. Yucatan is here. Uh, Colombia. Mm, I want to say yes, but at the same time... I got bigger ideas for you. I got much bigger ideas, actually. Let's increase the relations with the Brazilians, because the Brazilians, they can be kind of like the United States of South America, you know, a big potential power that could rise through the ranks and maybe become a great power someday with us. So right now, we're chilling out, we're low in our infamy, and actually also someone said Nueva someplace had a lot of good RGOs. They got some stuff there, what is that? They got some dyes, cattle. Guys, what is it around here? Sonora, Nogles, man, if we could get Baja, California, that'd be so cool. It's kind of worthless, honestly, but this is really cool. Natalia, British rule of Natal, annex, that's cool. Um, said so somewhere around here, obviously not Mexico City. I might even want to take, I don't know, I'm still debating about uh, Mexico down here, whether I just straight up annex them or sphere them. I might just straight up annex them eventually, maybe. Hmm. Ah, yes, American Oklahoma. Do not extend slavery. Also, someone also mentioned that, you know what? Just free as many slaves as we can now so the Civil War doesn't get as big. Mexico, I'm sorry, son. I'd love to. I really would, but you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. So, we're going to spend a lot of infamy getting good chunks of Mexico. Also, when the Civil War spawns, we're getting really close to the Civil War, I will send like all my Dixie troops, you know, all my Southerners, to Haiti. I'm just going to literally send them all here so that uh, they can't really defend their lands. I probably actually, I might convert them to irregulars first and then send them down to Haiti. So, ah, research points, good. Ideological thought, good. Political religion, okay, okay, whatever. Doing pretty well on monies. Ah, the Empire of Brazil. Yes. Not going to build up any forts down here. Let's see. Ah, I've got some railroads around here. That's kind of nice. Did I do that or did someone else do that? Someone else might have. Oh, we're not allowed. Oh, so they must have done it. Oh, Illinois is really railroady. Indiana's left out. So is Kentucky. Parts of Tennessee have railroads. Michigan has some. That's pretty nice. 
Slave market. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, and that they are endowed by the creator with certain unalienable rights. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The dank locale is dimly lit, and reeks of sweat and unwashed bodies, cramped walls, littered with chains and ropes, tell tales of the trade that goes on in this auction house. One by one, blacks are shoved onto a small stage to stand, their hands tied, while the auctioneer calls out the bids. Here, human beings are herded like cattle to be sold into vol involuntary servitude, serfdom, and slavery. So, and repulsive. We're going to go with repulsive. Absolutely repulsive. Disgusting. Oh. Enter it on us. Mexico... Now, I could squash Mexico right here. Destroy their armies for now. Can I in intervene in your war? No, I can't. That's okay. As soon as we get that one done, we're going to immediately do other stuff. You know what? I might even... I might just go to war and take something off of Mexico as well. Like, instead of just trying to get, like, Colorado from them or something. Yeah. And then we get so many cores. Life rating. They get... they. Reduce their cores. Ah, uh, that'll be good. It's going to be a good time. Hmm. That might take a while. Hmm. I'm thinking right now. I'm thinking. We could smash them to bits. We might just take, like, Sonora. Me meh. Hmm. I might just take Coahuila. I might just... Yeah, I might just straight up annex all of Mexico. Because Mexico is fun. Rebel scum in Alabama. Does Florida have it? Florida does have it. That sucks. That really sucks. But they don't even have slaves, so they don't even really care. Well, they got some Native American miners there. That's cool. Let's see. Oh, man, our army's not looking good right now, man. Oh, buddy boy. Congratulations with the French. Alright, so what do we have? Oh, wow, what are you doing? Ah, they're at war, whatever. So three ones. We need some more infantry. Do we... Oh, we cannot build any more... Ah, yes, Brazil, of course, until you do something stupid and I don't come into your war with you. Ah, yes. Ah, yes, I might even build up a road here for you. Just, it's not too much, not too much to ask for. How much, how many immigrants do we get? Oh, yeah, that's not as much as I want, but yeah. Eventually, I will want to take out Canada. So, really, I guess we're going to make North America, uh, America Land. That's kind of nice. I like America Land. America Land, we're going to take out Can Canada. Canada, eventually. That's definitely what I want. I want Canada. I want all of Mexico. North America will be American. By God's good graces, it will be. Nice. Let's see. We could probably lower this just a little bit more. That's good. That's good. And we're taxing as much as we can. We're trying to educate people as fast as we can. Neo-Kantian ideals. That's cool. Give me more prestige, please. We're only fifth in the world. we got potential rebels brewing. Um, oh, it's a potential slave revolt. Oh, uh, Brazil. Brazil. Of course you would. Oh, and we gotta make sure no one rebels down here, too. Uh, let's see. So we got some... Let's see, some Domingo. Infantry, infantry. Afro Dixie Soldiers, good. Lynchburg. Oh, that sounds like a great name. Uh, Oregon, Slave State, of course. Alright, so what are you... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Rio Denise. Yeah, this, these guys, so... Um... You guys aren't even... Ooh, that's not good. Annexic Empire. That's cool. Oh, uh, you know what? I might just prop this up just a little bit more. Because things are expensive. Things are kind of expensive trade-wise. Let's go back and do this. I don't care if it hurts the budget right now. I just I just want more stuff. What's your military score? Oh, oh god. Dang it, we're at war. Mm, so you have level 8. And you have level 0. These guys should be able to take them out by themselves. If we don't get all the immigrants, whatever. It doesn't matter. Military-wise, yeah, we can't support too much of a military. Not state and government. Could go to war with them right now. What would I do to get from them? Let's see, what can we do with them? Well, you know what? We'll just wait. Let's just wait for now. The reactionaries. We got some rubble scum. Mississippi. Oh, yeah, after it's ended, it's seen convoy stuff. We got time, so I'm not really too worried about it. Letter ships heal up. Ah, national national focus. Good state and government. Where are we doing our national focuses? West Virginia, South Carolina, New York City. Get some intellectuals, please. And administrative reports. I really don't want to put too many bureaucrats down here just because they're probably not going to stay with us. So, intellectuals in Massachusetts, land of people. 
Let's see. Oh, they entered an alliance with Prussia. Yucatan, Yucatan. Cool. Let time go on first. Lower our infamy as much as possible. Make friendly relations with some people. Yeah. Be friendly with them so we can get Alaska. Oh, more plurality. That's always interesting. Order saloons close. People should be free to drink. Moralism? Yes, please. Oh, you don't like us, Prussia? Ugh. You evil people. You evil Germans. I hope you lose your war against Austria. Oh, plurality. Collectivism. Oh, wait, hold on. Why are you fighting the Austrians? Didn't you... Oh, it's not 1848 yet. Why are you... Wow, wait, hold on. Why, why are you killing each other? Austrian intervention in Egypt. Wait, who's intervening in Egypt? I want Egypt. Industry's going down a little bit. Whatever. They're allied with Ecuador and Peru. Colliery disaster. Blame local management. Laborers are careless. And I'll just piss them off some more. Why not? For the funsies. I wonder. I'm pretty sure Florida will rebel because they have cores, but even if they have cores, it doesn't mean they will rebel. Yeah, oh, now we probably have enough steam convoys. Hopefully, get a little bit more money. State and government. Helping these guys out a little bit more, which is nice. Very, very nice. You guys are Dixie, 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 Dixie. Protectionism, free trade. I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. Both both are better, though, than laissez Fair right now. Can I change my party? I cannot. I'd like to go with uh, Southern Democrats, because we can just automatically just build whatever we need wherever we want it. That would be nice. Can we have some slaver bolts? That'd be kind of cool. Colombia, Haiti, Liberia, New England. Yeah, there's no point. Yeah. Why would I ever liberate Liberia? Hmm, that's not looking good. Okay, so what is costing me so much? Industrial subsidies. Administration. Well, yeah, so much for administration. Yeah, holy cow, this is insane. How, how, yeah, oh my. Ah, the bureaucracy. Alright, so, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, yeah, even lower then. God, I want to get rid of this party so much. Uh, state capitalism, please, thank you. I could try to lower this, too, but it's not going to do that much. I mean, I can't do anything. Holy cow. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I'm going to have to lower my education budget, too, a little bit. I don't want to do it like this, but I have to. Seriously, you're costing me way too much for nothing. All right, well, you're going all the way down. All the way down. All the way down. I helped out a little bit. Oh, my goodness. We must be entering, like, a recession or something. Because this is not good. Yeah, I need to tax these people. Democrats, get out of here. Democratic Party, please. Lose an election or something. Oh. I, I know they're not going to lose the election. But it just makes me feel better. If I lowered this, we would lose a lot more money. Holy cow. Hmm, moralism? You know what? I'm even going to delete this army then. Would that help? Like, I know it's not this. Where is it? It can't be this. Yeah, automate. Yeah, no. It, that was not costing me that much. So. Yeah, the game just likes to screw you over a little bit sometimes with the way it pops by stuff. Holy cow, that was insane. That was insane. No, 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 no. Hmm. Now they're not in high demand. I don't believe you. Well, down and make more money. We still have time, though, so it's not too bad. Full citizenship. Um, do we have any more colonies around here? Colonial map mode? No. No, it doesn't look like it. We got American Kansas. No, I think we're done with the colonies. Got a couple of potential rebellions, but Florida doesn't really care about rebelling. These guys down here. Ah. Uh, yes. Thank you. Um. Ottoman Empire? I'm going to have to say nah, dog. That, that's, that's not us right now. Austria's doing well against the Russians. A little surprising. Prussia, you're really disappointing. Whatever. Austria, sure. Netherlands? Eh, this could be 
on good relations with the Dutch. But we're making quite a bit of money back, which is good. Oof. I really hate laissez-faire early game. Ugh. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Get me with the immigrants. Good. You guys should be... No, you guys should be at max strength now. After all that spending I did. Oh. Oh. Alright, so we got that done, which is good. I'm going to go ahead... I would love early railroads so much. I'm just going to go ahead and do one of these administrative things, just so it helps us out a little bit more. And... Intellectuals. Tons and tons and tons of intellectuals. And now we shall manifest our destiny. So, to bring civilization from coast to shining coast has always been the grand mission of our great republic. Let the eagle spread its wings. Yes. Gain a little bit of infamy, but I don't really care. Mexico has refused. Mexicans have refused a generous offer. Our only recourse is force of arms. Our military could use some striker practice. Yes. Relations with them go down. We declare war in Mexico. Oh, we go to war with immediately. Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought we'd get the option to. Ooh, and this is... Several representatives of the southern states oppose the talk of secession that are being voiced in more extremist circles. If we informally endorse the convention between them, they might be able to calm the secessionist mood. Yeah, let's do that real quick. And, well, looks like we're going to spend some money. This is worth it, though. Soviet Mexico has refused an American dream. Down with them, then. A few ships get blown up, whatever. This is going to save us money in the long run. I will lower this by a little bit more, if I have to. And we're back at war. What else is new, though? You guys have 14, you're already mobilizing, we're sieging them down immediately. And I come down here. Nice. Uh. And since we don't have that much infamy, we only have 10 infamy, that's really awesome. I'm just going to start taking some, uh, like a couple other states here, too. I know the border guard is going to be terrible, but it is what it is. And an American dream must be made. Venezuela. We have Brazil here. Uh, you know what? We'll do that too with you. Because you could be really, really good later on. Actually, call me ally. You will not accept? Well, screw you then, Venezuela. <laughs> if your allies refuse to help you in wartime, there's no point in having an alliance. Oh, we found some Mexicans. But it's a little too late for them since, uh... My guy's pretty much at full strength. Well, you know, enough supplies to last. Hello. Oh, found some Mexicans. Oh, boy. Should probably did more arm attack. Time to play ball. In Cooperstown, near New York, the first public baseball game took place. The New York Knickerbockers lost to the New York 9, 1-23. to Holy cow. That is, you know, I don't play baseball. I don't know a whole lot about baseball. But that's, that's not good. Uh, let's go and, sure, why not? You know what? Help them out down here. You know what? Help him out down here. Good. You guys hang out. You guys go that way. Siege him out. Good. And we're going to reform his army a little bit when we're done here. San Antonio. Good. Been there once. I guess we're here. Oh, I know the board is not going to be good. But it, it, it'll be what it'll be. You know, I like Coast. Baja California seems pretty good. Coahuila. Can I justify? Oh, I can't add a war goal yet. That's okay. That's totally okay. Which means we want to get to this war as fast as possible then. Alright, how's this guy looking? Nice. Ah, Venezuela. America influencing Venezuela. Love it. Anyone attacking us anywhere yet? No? Good. We're going to have to do the gas and purchase eventually, too. Ooh, you might not do well if you do that. Good. That. Well, okay, we're just shredding them. I didn't. You know, I knew the Mexican army wasn't going to be, like, god tier. But I didn't expect us to do that well. What's going on? Did we get a good. Eh, we got a good dice roll, but even they got a good dice roll. 
a Dred Scott versus Stanford, uh, born a slave in Virginia, has, has, with the help of abolitionist legal advisors, sued his owner, claiming that his present residency in a free state requires his emancipation. The United States Supreme Court has ruled that this is, in fact, not the case, and effectively that the property rights of slave owners are protected regardless of where in the Union the slave resides. The case has caused enormous alarm among northern abolitionists, who see it as the first step to full extension of the institution of slavery to the whole Union. Worrying news, find for Scott. Find for Scott? Huh, worrying news. Dixie becomes more reactionary, gains... Eh, piss him off some more, why not? We're all here to have a good time. Well, some of us are having times. Some of us are having good times. It is what it is. Oh man, my budget's not looking good. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I really need more money, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to lower this. I'm going to have to lower... Th uh, I don't want to lower that too much. We could probably should lower this a little bit more, just because we've already beat most of their army. And i got to make a little bit more money before we make any more demands. That'll be good. Manifest Destiny. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, good. We got that. Nice. That's a tiny little square of Mexican Wyoming. Wyoming. And Venezuela. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, I can't get rid of slavery now? God darn, that sucks. Uh, yeah. But that's okay. Universal... Who wants what? Where? They want universal voting. Um... How about based on population? How about that? More immigrant attraction? I think so. You just keep going down the coast. That'd be nice. Moab. Moab. Good. And uh, you might as well come up here and wait as these guys are coming up here as well. And go that way. There you go. And you almost... Oh! The French. Oh, they're fighting the French. Tampico. Oh, did they beat some French ships, maybe? The Great Irish Famine. Oh, boy. Now, with enough armies, we can shatter them. Phoenix. Flagstaff. Nice. Very nice. I might just go straight for Mexico City. Come on, I gotta get a little bit more money. Uh, we can lower this maybe just a smidgen more. Just by a smidgen more. It's not worth much more, but let's go straight for Mexico City. Oh boy. Oh, we actually won. We actually beat him there. Nice. Where are they headed to? Las Vegas. Nice. Actually, do we have enough? Yes, we do. Oh, no. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't get anything else here. Darn it. Well, I'll keep beating him up then. Man, we are really not doing well with our military here. So be it. And they'll arrive, they'll show up. Propose peace. Acquire all cores. Oh, wow, we, we have to fully siege him down. So be it. Uh, Venezuela. Empire Brazil. Call ally. Oh, yeah, why not? Now they won't get any immigrants, but whatever. Ah. I knew I could count on the Brazilians. What a great bunch of people. Go ahead and take San Diego, where I've been once. Mexicans are trying to attack French ships, which makes sense. I got a good dash roll. They don't even have a commander. Oh, they stuck down there. Cool. My turn. You guys. You're still fighting that war. God dang, son. France. We love you, France. Prussia. Well, you're Prussia. Nice. Gotta make sure we got enough money. Good. Kill these guys off. Oh, the French have arrived. That's just great. So where's Ulysses S. Grant and Robert E. Lee fighting together against a bunch of Mexicans? They're probably down there in Mexico City. Actually, Winfield Scott Ambrose. Zachary, oh, there's Zachary Taylor. That's cool. The president's here. A president. Las Vegas, take him out. Nice. Uh... Let's go on, Zachary Taylor. Henry Hayes. Benjamin Scott. Anyone else? No. Chester Ford. Nope. Alright, well, whatever. That's, eh, since we're at war, we must get some army professionalism, and then we'll get some railroads, too. Cool. And we shall do... Um, eh, I'll do that one, because why? We can. Because we can. Ah, Mexico City is ours. You know what? Just go and take Veracruz. That's nice. That's good. That's really good. And we don't want to forget. Oh, Brazil showed up down there. Let's see, you guys. Beer fruits, beer fruits, beer fruits, beer fruits are done. 
Uh, let's go to Illinois and build up some intellectuals. Let's take a quick look at here. Oh, coal in Pennsylvania. I love it. Not yet. Oh, New York is done. New York. Massachusetts is done as well. Actually, I'm thinking Massachusetts is a little big here. This is it Connecticut and Rhode Island down here too? Good. Nice. Very nice. I am going to have a big old naval battle, even though both navies here don't have a lot of strength. Or organization, really. Ah, and we just killed them off immediately. Nice. Alright, guys. The army's not looking well. We're going to definitely have to shuffle our armies up when we're done here. Um, it's just not looking very good at all. We're just fine. Smithsonian Institution. The U.S. Congress founded the Smithsonian Institution, which reports directly to the President. Its goals were and remain the support of research and expeditions, as well as popularization of science. Science! Good. Nice. Go. The rest of Nevada. I love Nevada. Oh, I love Old World Blues. Good. Anything else down here? Yes. Ah, oh, the Mexicans arrived. Show up in Mexico City. Cool. And they lost. Let's just take all the coasts so no one else can invade them from that direction. Anything else here? Da, 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 da. Flagstaff is almost gone. And... Oh. Treat oh, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. Should we get a convincing enough victory over the Mexicans? We will be able to force them to the negotiating table in order to discuss their surrounding of all claims to land north of the Rio Grande in exchange for, of course, a fair price. This treaty will cost $100,000, which we... Or pounds, which we have. Thank you to the person who wrote that comment yesterday. We have just enough money right now. Let us go ahead and see what we get. So, Mexico has signed the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, ceding all American claimed territories to our control. For now, the relations between our two countries can return to normal. A wise move, pay or owe a hundred thousand pounds. Yes, American New Mexico. Now, we don't get um, Baja California, but in time we will. So, statehood, do we extend slavery uh, when we play as a CSA? Yes. Uh, Utah, the Mormons need slaves. Uh, Nevada, uh, Las Vegas needs slaves. Good. What else do we have? Increased conscription. Oh, we could maybe do that. The medical points goes down. We can do that for funsies. Yeah, we'll do it for funsies. Whatever. You get a little bit. Oh, maybe we can't. Okay, whatever. Corbin amendment. What is this? We need. We need a lot of money. We need to be reactionary. The Wilmot Proviso. I've heard, I've heard of this. Ban slavery in any state acquired from New, the Mexican secession. Supporting the Proviso will greatly calm northern fears over slave power, but also increase southern fears of abolitionism. Oh yeah, we want Hawaii as well. We need revolution, counter revolution. Oh, the 1847 compromise. What is this? What do we have to do there for that? Oh, that's cool. Real gr grand loses quorum on the right. Oh, hold on. The Mormon Exodus. Ooh. Hey, look at that. That's not bad. Are we still at war with them? Hold on. So, American Arizona, of course. We will extend slavery. Just kidding. Uh, Alright, so we have these to do. So if you want to read this, go right ahead. Basically, the main points are the Texas surrenders its claim to New Mexico, over which it has threatened war, as well as the claims north of the Missouri Compromise Line. It retains the Texas panhandle. The federal government will take over the state's public debt. California is admitted as a free state with its current boundaries. The Wilmot Proviso will be fully rejected. And the slaves trade, but not slavery altogether. We banned in D.C. Sounds like very wise political things. So Rio Grande, create a slave town. Cool. And then we have the Mormon Exodus. After violence in their home enclave of Nauvoo, Illinois, the Mormons have elected to head west to settle in the Salt Lake City, where, or Valley, where they can practice their faith without hindrance. Led, led by Brigham Young, the Mormons suffered great hardship, but eventually did reach their destination and prospered. Yes, they have. I know some Mormons. They have big old families. Big old families. Ooh. Deseret will gain core. I don't like that, but let's do it anyways. The, oh, yeah, we're going to do the gas and purchase, so we're going to need some more money. And we need nationalism and imperialism and about 50,000 pounds. It's not bad. How do we do the Iron Range? Nice. Oh, Commodore Perry's Expedition? Yes. We need to sphere them. So, nice. Well, I couldn't get everything I wanted, but that's okay. And now is the time for restructuring of our military. It's 1847. Uh, I'm going to send you guys to DC. I'm going to send you guys... What is this? I'm like, looking pretty bad. I'm just going to combine everyone together, and now I'm going to do what might not be a good move for the South, but it's going to be a move nonetheless, just because... Hey, what the French are, what are the French doing up here? Huh. I, I'm just going to restructure my entire army, so... Hey, we don't have a lot of money, but hey, 
America's looking great. Not great enough, though. Not great enough. The Professor. Oh. Control intellectuals? Of course you're going to control intellectuals. We need Tucson. Thank you, Brazil. You are an amazing ally. I love having you here. Ah, rebel scum with Georgia. Hmm. Oh, hello. Maybe I should not have deleted my divisions yet. Or my armies. For the love of God, I hope we did. These don't. This turns, it doesn't turn into a problem. Thank you, Mexico. But soon enough, you will be our secessionist statements. Oklahoma. Oh, Oklahoma. Mm, no, Oklahoma. You are not allowed to leave. Good, we got that. Let's go ahead and grab some early railroads. And then focus a lot on industry. Ah, procedure's pretty good. After this, we don't have a lot of infamy. The colony of Liberia. Huh, in 1820, the American Colonization Society began sending African-American volunteers to the Pepper Coast to establish a colony for free African-Americans. The ACS, a private organization supported by prominent American politicians such as Abraham Lincoln, Henry Clay, and James Monroe, believed repatriation was preferable to emancipation of slaves, and they found a colony was known as Liberia. The colony of Liberia was poor, economically dependent on the ACS, resulting that by the 1840s, the ACS was effectively bankrupt. Liberia had become a financial burden for it. When the American Colonization Society imitated... Uh, that Liberia should cease its dependency on it, Joseph Roberts, the colony, colony's first black governor, proclaimed it an independent republic in 1847. We recognize their independence. We should be known as an uncivilized nation. This is Coors claims. Max loan amount. Long live Liberia. Oh, I can play as Liberia. Wow. Uh, pay their debts and keep the colonies. Um, you know what? For now, we're going to recognize their independence. I don't want to deal with these guys later for now, so... Um, I'm not going to develop them. I might just take them over later anyways. Oh, wait, the Republican Party's here. Oh, I don't remember when the Republican Party was actually... Wait, you have the Republican Party? That can't be the same Republican Party that we have today. That's got to be something different. Yeah, that's uh, conservative, so that doesn't make any sense. That's not the same one. Okay, just to make sure. Just to make sure. Yeah, please kill all these rebels. I do not want to turn Jacobin. Alright, where, where, where's the armies? You. Kill them off. Montgomery. This is not the rebellion that I was hoping or was expecting. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're actually up here. You're much faster. Oh, good, 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 good. What's going on? Something... A lot of things are flashing by. Good, good. Not so good. The Dutch. Awesome. Not sure where the Austrians are. Are they still fighting a war? They are still fighting a war. They want East Galicia. They're... And the British are at war again. Makes sense. So we got a little bit more money. But we gotta restructure our guys first before we go to war with anyone. We have 44 military score, which is okay. Actually, let's get our ships back too. There we go. And come back to Norfolk. Close. Eh, that's fine. How strong is Columbia? Because I want to beat him up. 10. That's not. Seriously, son? Seriously? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna combine you guys for now. And I'm, I'm gonna restructure everyone here anyway, so it doesn't even matter. So, I'm going to try to make a Union Army. So, uh, because with the Dixie Soldiers, we're going to do something special with them. Oh, social reform desire, that's fine with me. Just make more money for now. Um, Asheville's Dixie, Dixie. One, two, three. Cool. Uh, rebels, of course. Good, head on over there, Mark Blunt. Yeah, we need more railroads. Uh, Peru. Now nah, we good, man. We good. Hopefully we can get Colombia, or this part of Colombia, to Brazil. Maybe Venezuela can take another state as well. Oh, they're not like with Ecuador. Okay. I could go to war with Spain. I mean, they're about the same military size. Joseph, John Joseph Hughes, a bishop and later archbishop of New York from 1842 to 1864, Hughes would work tirelessly to integrate Roman Catholics, particularly newly arrived immigrant Catholics, into the fabric of American society, while at the same time ensuring that the institutions and assets of the Catholic Church remain firmly under control of the Catholic hierarchy. And Catholics got more consciousness. Okay, well, gold rush, yes, gold rush. Come to California before it becomes overpopulated. Yes, yes, immigrant. Immigrate. No, it's Pennsylvania. You've got to be done with intellectuals. Uh, yeah, you're pretty much done. Massachusetts, of course, is done. Hispaniola. Um, I'm going to keep you done for now. Hispaniola. Bureaucrats. Ooh, I don't want to do that either. Uh, Georgia, Indiana. Is that the... Kentucky might leave us. I don't know. I guess I'll put them in Indiana. Uh, 
Cleveland, Pennsylvania, that's fine. Ohio is not done yet. New England is not done yet, which is fine. Good. All right. So we need to create some stuff here. So this organization, Savannah, Montgomery, Pike. Oh, where's Pikeville from? Well, Philadelphia, Hartford, Infantry. Yeah, they're Dixie soldiers. I'm going to disband them. Let's see. Artillery, Yankees. Dixie. So the first one there, Dixie. Pikeville's Dixie. Good. So the two artillery pieces go bye bye. Because we're going to convert them. So we got this. That's not looking great. Let's go and convert. Uh, we don't need this. Artillery piece. Any more Yanks? And Indianapolis. Yeah. The Apache Wars, the New Mexico Apache led by a man himself calling Victorio, has risen up and massacred several settlers in the state. Provoked by the ever-increasing incursions by the white man into territory traditionally considered as part of the Apache homeland, Victorio and his band refuse to submit to the United States authority. Well, sounds like we're going to have to commit some war crimes, even though war crimes have not yet been invented. Ah, railroads, good. Let's build... Oh, I can't build railroads. God dang it. Culture, we can wait on that. Factory input. Let's get business rolling, son. We are America. We must have business. Tons and tons of business. I mean, I'm talking about tons and tons. Lower that. Lower that. I'm going to raise this up just to so get some more supply in there. That'd be good. Now, let's make some bank. Ooh, Nashville. Yankees, Yankees, Dixie. Okay. A Yankee army. And then you guys come over here, too. Don't do that. Don't do that either. You are from Atlanta, Columbia, Dixie, Dixie. They're all Dixie, sorry. You're going to go bye-bye. The SSDC explodes. Barbarianism against Carlos Spain? It was an accident. We lose prestige? Uh. I'm gonna say it didn't. It's okay for now because I'm really not ready to go to war. I'm preparing for another war. So, we'll see what happens. Gold Rush, yes, LA. It's gonna blow this by two. Of course you have. Of course you have. All right, well, you guys go right on ahead. Do what you have to do. I'd love to take Cuba from them, but we're not really in any position to do so. How many capital ships do they have? Do we know? They're ranked fifth in the world. We're ranked ninth. That's not really good. Um, just come on down to Florida. Immigrant-wise. Oh, what is this? Guatemala? Sure. Universal. No. Secret ballots. I'm gonna hold an election for funsies. Wow, that's really green. We got thousands of immigrants today. Five thousand? Oh, yes. Mered, yes. Austrian restoration to the order of Hungary. Oh, it's 1848, of course. So they're having problems. Makes sense. Pretty prestigious, though. We are quite prestigious. And are we building anything yet? We need canned food. This is gonna hurt the bank, but that's okay. Not gonna hurt us that badly though, which is good. Now let us pull off. Uh, we're patriots, gonna fight for our country. Let's do that. Good. Do we have any other? Oh yeah, we have you guys down here too. Uh, you guys might as well join them. That's fine. Make you guys stronger overall for peace, which is good for money, 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 money. Prussia, yes. Russia. Oh, Russia's not looking good. Holy cow. They have literally no military score. Wow. They're even behind the Dutch. Austria must have won that war and done really well. Good job. Good job, Austria. Wow, now we're really hurting for money. Eh, I'm used to it now, so whatever. Uh, raise the tariffs, protectionism. I mean, I guess. It's better than laissez faire, so. Uh, let's see. Market structure, organized factories. We might want to do that. Medicine. Population growth, yes. Oh, look at that money, yes. Alright, what do we got? Buffalo, nice. Uh, sure, we could use that for later on. Just don't call me into any pointless wars. We need more artillery. Okay, that's fine. National Dixie. There's so much Dixie here. Mm, secret ballots, sure. Actually, hold on, what does this do? Liberty. Political reform desire, immigrant attraction, mobilization size, impact hurts us, commerce, tech, of course. 
Uh, Conservative Party rocked by scandal. Good, good. Uh, do we have the Republican Party yet? No, we don't. I think it was in the 50s, 1850s that they became alive. I would prefer the Southern Democrats, though. Hmm. That's okay, though. Anything here? Yes, yes. At least have one good army here. Actually, how are you guys doing? Capation, that's okay. We have an Apro Latino. Dixie soldiers, good. We already have some Dixie soldiers down here. That's nice. No slavery allowed down there, which is good. Because I'm sending all the Dixie soldiers down to Haiti before that war starts. And they're going to be stuck. It's gamey, I know. But I need three more infantry. Actually, just pull these guys off then. Thank you. You know what, since we're here and we're not doing anything... Hmm. I know I said I don't want to go to Africa, but I said we might do it once. We might do it once. Hmm. Vietnam has 18 military score. Wari has 3. You guys have 5. But you're allied with Sokoto, which is... Eh, not great. You know, just just, just just a little bit. Just just a little bit. Not too much. Not too much. It's going to take quite a few days to do it anyway, so that's okay. That's okay. You guys uh, are looking pretty good, except you got way too much infantry now. Yeah, Lynchburg is down there. Yeah, what what a name. Cool. Two more artillery pieces. Come on. Are you literally all Dixie? God dang it. Um, select you. Get rid of that so I can convert you actually to normal artillery. Dixie, 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 Dixie. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. There's Burr. Good. Nice. Awesome. Oh, now we're making some serious bank. Let's build some... Oh, maybe not build some forts up there. We can build some forts down there. What, what does it take to do the Gadsden Purchase? Oh, the Gadsden Purchase. We need... Nationalism and Imperialism. So it's going to take a little longer for us. So we can auto buy spending just a few dollary dues here right now. Yeah, Pennsylvania, Ohio. Uh, that's not terrible. That's not great. That's really not great at all. But we're not, we don't really have much else to do right now. Medicine, research, good. And happy 1850, my friends. We got medicine done. Grab this. Oh, nationalism and imperialism. Oh, but education. Eh, I'm going to do this first. Nice. And we'll end with us. Oh, my goodness. Artillery and beverages. Artillery, where are you? Price is going up. Well, we're not going to buy all as much as we can. Beverages. That's wine. Beverages. We don't have enough drink for our soldiers. It's going to hurt the budget a little bit. That's fine. It doesn't really matter to me. Just so that we can build these guys up. Artillery is going up, maybe. Surely bring us prosperity. Columbus changes to coal. No? No, don't tell me I'm going to have to kill my budget. Oh, I might have to kill my budget. Because this is the army that we got to send over to Africa. Please tell me you're getting... Okay, we're getting more of this. Good. Good. Oh, wow. Taiping Rebel... Oh, maybe we're going to war... Mm, hold on, before I forget here. Shogun of Japan, uh, partially westernized... Sure, why not? We'll influence you. But that's pretty much where we're going to leave it today, here today, my friends. Let me know in the comments below what else I should do in the campaign. Whether you agreed with me taking almost all of Mexico, whether I should continue to take more of Mexico, which I really, really do. But if you like the video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will catch you all tomorrow as we have a great time with maybe dealing with a few more rebels, if you know what I mean. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.